evening, I'm Jaden Jefferson, and we start with one event that is going to benefit many local organizations. This morning, the 30th annual Polyball Volleyball event was held at International Park in downtown Toledo. The event raises money for the YWCA of Northwest Ohio and breast cancer detection and awareness. The event is in honor of Polly Highland Tracy, who lost her battle with breast cancer in 1990. Polly's sister says that she appreciates the outpouring of community support each and every year the event takes place. It's fabulous to have people back in person, but I will say 2020, this community stepped forward and still contributed money even though they couldn't play. Highland adds that teams began setting up bright and early at 7 a.m. Today's event wrapped up at 4 p.m. Also this morning, Maumee Valley Habitat for Humanity and Fifth Third Bank held a community cleanup and revitalization in the Junction neighborhood, beginning at Junction Park at the corner of Junction and Nebraska. The event is part of the annual Rock the Block event, which entails volunteers going into communities across Northwest Ohio in the hopes of promoting clean, safe neighborhoods. So when you come down and you look around and you see the improvements that have been made over the years to, the, to, you know, to this particular neighborhood it just makes you feel good it's so important I think because it, it demonstrates uh, our embracing of the community and uh, there's so many different things happening in a positive fashion the event also helps to dispose of unwanted tires today the 17th annual Levis Commons fine art fair was held at Levis Commons in Perrysburg the event features a variety of art from local and national artists and continues to Sunday one artist I spoke to says this event has allowed her to gain additional exposure I tried virtual and that was not as successful as actually being under the tent and showing everything. The festival's Sunday hours are from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Inside the Five Brewing Company is responding to social media backlash following a tweet by Ohio Senate candidate Josh Mandel, who's looking to replace Senator Rob Portman. Mandel tweeted his support for an Inside the Five employee who came into work sick during a pandemic, even though the employee should have stayed home regardless. Inside the Five says the incident will be addressed, and they have since deleted their Twitter account following the backlash. This weekend is Pride Weekend in Toledo. From music to food, there are many things you can do to celebrate. For more, including a list of events, visit ToledoPride.com. That's all for the news at 6. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.